On Quebec separation. This topic may seem unusual compared to others I've covered, as I usually touch on fairly universal concepts. However, I want to speak of Quebec separatist movement for two reasons, one. Quebec separation from Canada would have far-reaching consequences across the entire world, much more than most people would expect. Two. It concerns me personally as I am myself a Quebecer. I won't explain the history behind Quebec separatism, the pros and cons, its legitimacy, the cultural aspects of it, or anything you would know to make an informed decision on whether Quebec should separate from the rest of Canada or not. Instead, I will focus on two things, one, why it is inevitable, two, why it is important to the rest of the world. So first, why is Quebec separation inevitable? As explained previously, for a nation to function, it must have one common culture. It can have subcultures, but there cannot be two major cultural groups within it, or else issues arise surrounding the very laws of the nation. In Canada we have two major cultures, one. The English-Canadian culture, which is composed of several very similar subcultures and is almost identical to the American culture. Two. The French-Canadian culture. We could also count the native cultures, yet their numbers are so small as to be unable to tip the balance. Though relevant, I'd rather stick to the topic at hand rather than explaining why I don't consider the native cultures of Canada to be major cultural groups. Anyway, the initial intent of the English conquerors back in the 18th century was to assimilate the Canadians and make them into proper English citizens. As can be seen today, these efforts have thoroughly failed in Quebec and continue to fail. And so we are left with two cultures which, though far from polarly opposed, are still too different to form one unified nation. However Canada, instead of acting like a confederation of different nations, acts as if it is one nation submitting the smaller culture, Quebec, to the larger one, Canada. As can be expected, this causes discontent, never mind tribalist attitudes from both sides. So, now that we have examined how Quebec will not be assimilated into the greater American culture surrounding it, one has to think about the future. No matter how powerful and prosperous a nation might be, it would be foolish to assume it will never face adversity. Now, imagine what would happen if a disparate nation like Canada were to face such adversity. Say, an invasion or a major catastrophe. The first thing that would happen is that the two cultures would turn away from each other and the separation of Quebec would happen, all naturally. And so, we can state that, unless things change and French Canadians somehow get assimilated into the greater American culture, Quebec separation will inevitably happen if pressure is applied on Canada in one way or another. The only thing that's in question is how this separation will happen, will it be through a democratic process, through a violent revolution, or through something even less predictable, such as a complete dismantling of Canada in the face of a catastrophe. No matter the way in which it happens, we can be assured that, if we wait until it happens on its own, the people of both Quebec and the rest of Canada will suffer immensely as the power structures disintegrate around them. But why does this matter so much? We're talking about one province of 8 million. Why would it affect the rest of the world? Well, there are several reasons, and none of them are pleasant to think about. First of all, one has to know that many of Canada's provinces have expressed a desire to join the United States of America if Quebec were to separate. Even without such explicit statements, it would appear as the eventual outcome. And even one province joins the United States, then it is only a matter of time until the rest follows. This would give the United States almost complete control of everything north of Mexico, including large portions of the Arctic. It would also give them access to Canada's resources, namely its freshwater, its iron, its gold and diamonds, its oil, its forests, the list goes on and on. I don't think I need to explain how certain rivals of the US would react if it gained access to all this. Yet if that was all, then Quebec separation, though important, wouldn't affect the entire world. No, there's more. Second of all, we have to understand what Quebec separation means to the rest of the world. This would send a message to many many populations around the world, or one. It would confirm 
that it is indeed impossible for two different cultures to coexist within one nation governed by common laws. If even a peaceful, industrialized nation like Canada couldn't do it, what hopes do others have? 2. It is possible to achieve separation. These populations would then become very motivated to achieve the same. You could expect more separations to follow around the world, many through civil wars. And still, there are more reasons why this would affect the whole world. Third of all, you have to understand that the rest of Canada will not sit idly by and let it happen. During both referendums where Quebec citizens voted on whether they would leave Canada or not, the federal government was preparing an invasion of Quebec to secure and protect strategic facilities and resources in the eventuality of a victory of the separatists. This would mean civil war in Canada. Do you think the United States would sit idly by and let it happen? No, they would quickly get involved and attempt to pacify the region and forcefully annex Canada. However, this would also likely cause upheavals in the United States and likely trigger a second American Civil War. You can only imagine the impact this would have on the world. So, not only would the United States gain access to Canada's resources and territory as explained before, but it would be done in a way which would cause civil uprisings. And last but not least, we have to consider what Quebec's situation would be if it managed to gain its independence. We're talking about a territory several times larger than most European nations peopled by only 8 million souls, loaded with resources of all kinds and without an army. Unless Quebec were to find a way to convince the United States to defend it, which is unlikely to happen, if the rest of Canada joins the United States, then it will be very vulnerable to foreign invaders. If the United States act to defend Quebec from them, it will not be an act of friendship, but an act of self-defense, in which case they would immediately seize control of Quebec, with all the consequences explained earlier. And so, you now understand why Quebec's separation is inevitable, and why it will have far-reaching repercussions around the world. At this point, instead of arguing about whether Quebec should separate or not, Canada should be preparing for it, so it happens smoothly, and with as few issues as possible. Otherwise, it will result in tremendous misery for all involved. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe.